Easy, James here. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate the pitch on a Technics SL Mark II turntable. Now, I should have done this video a long time ago, but to be honest, I just got a bit excited doing other videos, and I don't get a chance to do the Technics videos much anyway, because they take a long time to film and stuff like that, so I haven't had a chance to do it, but got a bit carried away doing other videos, and then somebody left a comment on one of my videos last night and reminded me to do this video, and I thought, oh shit, I still haven't done it. So, better late than never, I'll do it now. Now, the reason uh, for this video is because, if you remember a while back, I did uh, a video on how to change the pitch fader, and also did a video on how to adjust the actual pitch range on one of these. And since then, on those videos, I've been uh, left with loads of comments and emails and questions regarding the pitch fader. Some people saying they're having problems with it, uh, some people saying they've got two um, zero points, uh, some people saying their zero point is normal but when you pull away it suddenly jolts out of the zero position, some people saying they haven't even got a zero position full stop. Okay, So all of those are symptoms of you needing to calibrate the pitch. Now to do this it's fairly straightforward but unfortunately you do need a very specific thing Okay, and that is one of these guys, that's a multimeter. Now, you don't have to get one like this, okay? I'm an electrician, I use these things on a daily basis, but you don't have to buy the more expensive ones, okay? You can get these, as I explained in my last video, for as little as four quid, okay? I've even seen them going on eBay brand new for two quid by now. So, you need to get yourself one of these. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be a more expensive one like this one, it just has to be a multimeter that can test resistance, okay? Get yourself one of those, I'll put a link in the description for a couple of places where you can get these from. And uh, once you've got one, you will find endless uses, uses for this thing, believe me. Okay. So, what we're going to do is, there's two ways you can adjust the, uh, sorry, calibrate the pitch on these things. You can calibrate the zero pitch position on the pitch fader, and also you can actually calibrate the pitch range. Now I did a video showing you how to adjust the pitch range, but... I did kind of miss a few bits of information out in there and it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. So I'm going to show you in this video, well not in this video, but in the next part of this video, how to calibrate the actual pitch range. Okay, So that's the getting it back to the factory setting of plus and minus 8. And to be honest, you probably will have to do that after you adjust the zero point because it will be out slightly. So you'll probably have to do both anyway. So what I'll do is I'll split this video in half. This one I'll show you how to calibrate the zero point. In the next video I'll show you how to... Uh, adjust the actual pitch range back to the factory setting. Right, okay, so we've got to crack on because we ain't got much time in this video. So, first thing you've got to do, okay, if your deck is plugged in, you've got to switch off and unplug your deck, okay. Then the next thing you've got to do is take your slip mat, platter, uh, your ca um, counterweight, cartridge, everything off. Right, so once you've taken all of that off, you need to take the five screws out of your little plastic cover here and take this off. Okay, I've done that already just to save time. Right, now once you've done that, you need to flip the deck upside down, but I'm not going to do it on this hard surface. I haven't unfortunately got the furry bean bag anymore because my cat slaughtered it in fleas and hair, so I had to bin it. So I'm going to use some cushions, okay? So I'm just going to put these down and flip the deck upside down, so bear with me. There we go, so it's all padded, all soft, it's not going to damage the tone on, okay? So what you need to do is take the rubber base off. So uh, take the feet off, take all the screws out and take the base off the bottom. Okay, so once you've got your rubber base off, okay, you need to get to this part down here, which is the pitch fader. So I'm going to move the camera in and I'll show you what you need to do. Right, now this part here is the pitch fader. Now if you remember I showed you how to replace this. Now you're not even going to have to take this out, okay, because in Panasonic's infinite wisdom they decided to make a little hole there so you can actually get to the pot. Um, through that little hole, you don't even have to take it off. Now what you need to do, if you can see in there, that's the back part of the pot that you're going to need to adjust. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to put the screwdriver in there and basically turn that pot all the way anti-clockwise okay, till it stops. Like that. Okay. So that's it. Right, now once you've flipped it over, you can go ahead and plug it back in again okay, and switch it on. Now, you need to pay attention to the lights down here, so I will come down and move the camera. Right, um, I'm having to do this with a tablecloth over my head so you can see the dots. I must look utterly ridiculous. Right, okay, so um, we've got it at the green light, and as you can see, the big dot in the middle is stationary. Now, what you should have now, as you increase the pitch, the big dot in the middle should start to move, 
and then it should stop dead again a little bit further up. So you should have two zero positions, okay? So it's just a little bit further from the green light, okay? So it starts to move, and then that's it, it stops dead. And as you move it further up, it will start to turn the other way. So that is the problem some people are having. You've actually made it have that problem by turning that pot all the way to that side. So now what we've got to do is we've got to use that to calibrate the zero position. So I'll show you how to do that now. So once you've got that um, second zero point, what you need to do is you need to turn the pitch fader up until, you, until you're at that second zero point, okay? So the second time that the big dots in the middle stand still, you need to get it to that point and leave it there, okay? Right, so the pitch is a bit further up now. That's at the second zero position. So now what you've got to do, stop the deck, power off, unplug. Right, now once you've powered off the deck and unplugged it and take the platter off, you need to unplug the little cable that goes to your pitch fader, okay? So this one just on the side here. So just unplug that, and then you want to flip the deck upside down again. But make sure you leave the pitch in exactly the position you had it when you had it at that secondary um, zero point, okay? Plane's putting me off, sorry. Right, now you've got your deck upside down, okay, you want to make sure the pitch is still in that same position that you left it for that secondary zero position. Then what you want to do is put your multimeter on the 20k resistance setting, okay? Make sure it says infinite resistance. Then, you've got down here, you've got a brown and a red wire, can you see that? That connects to that one and that one. So where the brown and red wire come onto the board, okay, what you want to do is is put your resistor, uh, sorry, put your uh, probes for your multimeter uh, across these two, okay? And you want to take a reading off of that, okay? So it's 2.75k. So now what we can do is take a piece of paper, it's a scrappy paper, yeah, and then write down that figure. So it's 2. 2K75, okay? So write that figure down and you'll remember it. Right, now what you want to do is put the fader back to the middle position. So put it at the click where the green light would normally come on. Then put the probes of your multimeter back across the two points that you had them on earlier. Okay, so the red and brown wire. Then you, you'll get a new resistance value because the fader's been pushed back to the center. It'll be 4.66 on mine. Okay, now what you want to do is put your screwdriver back in to the pot and then you want to turn it clockwise and adjust it until you get the value that you wrote down earlier. Now, this, is, this has a tolerance of within 5%, so you can get it to within 5% of the value that you've got on there. So mine is 2K75, so I need to try and get it at 2.75. So just get it as close as you possibly can. Right, there we go, so I've got it at dead at 2K75, okay? So now what you've got to do is turn your deck back over, plug it in, put the platter back on, and more importantly, don't forget to plug the pitch fader back in, okay? Okay, so deck's up the right way now, remember, don't forget to plug your little wire back in, okay? Then put the pl platter back on, plug it back in. Right then, dodgy tablecloth time again. If only you could see me right now, I look absolutely stupid. Right, okay, so we've got the deck on, it's at 33, and the pitch is at the green light, okay? Now, as we can see, the one in the middle is standing perfectly still. Now, if you can see, as I increase the pitch range on this, you can see, oh, that's better. Lovely and smooth, and there's no second point or um, no second zero point or anything like that. The pitch just goes from zero to whatever it is very smoothly. So there you go, that's it, job done. That's all calibrated, lovely, back to the zero position again. And the opposite direction as well, as we go down, lovely and smooth, back up to the zero position. It doesn't jolt out of zero position or anything, it's lovely and smooth. So, lovely, that's it, job done. I can now take the tablecloth off and stop looking ridiculous. Right, now to do the next part, you're not going to have to get to the other side of this pitch fader again, okay? You're pretty much done with that. So you can put the bottom part back on now, okay? You don't need to get any more underneath there. 